Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you're doing well. I know the season is fast approaching. So I just wanted to jump on here and share some stocking stuffers from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I love, I don't know, the stockings to me have always been one of my most favorite things, even as a kid, getting little, little things, little, I don't know, little tidbits in my stocking. And, um, so when I got married, I was determined to have a homemade Christmas. And um, I, there were things growing up that I, I, I should have been a homesteader. Like that was my, my core was always doing everything from scratch. You know, we would buy a box of Ritz crackers and I'd say to my mom, um, how do you make these homemade? And my mom, that was not her thing. So we just never had those things. And when I got married, I was determined to do things as much as I could homemade. Part of the reason was we couldn't afford anything. When we got married, we were two kids that did not know how to budget. We were innocent, naive, and plain stupid on a lot of stuff. So everything had to be homemade. We would make homemade gifts for each other at Christmas. One of the things I did make for us, I always wanted to do was homemade Christmas stockings. I didn't really know a whole lot. I just kind of did the best I could and I knew how to do granny square stockings and here you go. This is my husband's stocking. I did all the Christmas colors and I have added over the years different uh, Christmas ornaments to it to just sort of decorative, make it look a little bit more decorative. I've had to do a few repair jobs. These are 36, yeah, 36 years old. I've had to add some stitching at the top and the back is a little bit different. I think that was either a, I think that was a triple triple stitch here and a double stitch there but that is my husband's and he's got the Santa Claus on it then let's see let me get mine so last year or the year before I don't remember is when I changed the Christmas ornaments because they got ratty and I went to the Dollar Tree and mine here's mine all granny square including the toe and there you go mine is all granny square on the back they're all a little different added an extra bit up here and because I have my podcast called Hope for Today, I found an ornament that says Hope. So that's on the front of mine. Then this one is Gavin's and Gavin's is solid on the back. And then I did his white and green. And he's got a little stocking here. And uh, this one is, it looks like a double stitch. And this one, I just added it so you can't actually fill the toe. But again, I didn't know exactly what I was doing. I was winging it. Um, this one is our son, Graham, Graham Mark, and his was similar to mine. And you've got the two colors, I mean, the triple colors on front and back and all granny square. I did his all green at the top with this was a green and gold, so a little different than mine. And his says, peace. And then my daughter-in-law came into the family and I had to do something that looked to me a little bit more feminine. So I don't even know. I think this is a double stitch. I don't know, but this one has silver threads going through it. So it's a little bit different as well. And I got her a nice handmade one ornament that is a punch tin with a ruffle. I got that in one of the thrift stores out in Pennsylvania, my favorite. So I added that to hers. And then we have our puppy. I did not make his. I did find this though at a thrift store out in Pennsylvania. And it was just, it was him. So I just stuck with that. So I, like I said, I love Christmas stockings. I love everything about it. My family is, um, we're more budget friendly. So that's not to say you can't do the expensive. I know people put iPods, earpods, iPods, I don't know, earbuds, all that stuff. I don't even know the proper term expensive ones in stockings and gift cards because they're little well i can't afford to put a 200 hundred dollar gift card in a stocking that's just even if i could it's not my thing so if you're into all the big and glamorous type of you know beautiful jewelry in the stockings and all that um this isn't for you we go real simple i go practical i'm a very practical person and to me the stocking was always you know a toothbrush toothpaste candies, treats, um, you know, those types of things. So I'm going to show you some of the things I got. I usually try and go between five to seven items in the stocking. Um, it might vary year to year, depending on what I could find. And 
it's funny when you start to declutter, you start to realize, oh, we have too many of those things or, oh, there's too many of those things. They don't need another whatever it might be. So one thing I did this year is I got pens for everybody. So I picked up um, for my oldest son and my husband, practical. These I hear are really nice. And my son is starting a new job. And I'm going to throw these in a bucket here if you hear a clunk. So I figured in January, starting a new job, that would be perfect. Pick this one up for my youngest son. I don't know who's around and listening. So some of the things I might not describe in detail, but I thought this was kind of cool. It had basketball on it. And then I picked this one up for my daughter-in-law. I just thought they were feminine colors, the teal and the purple. And purple is one of her favorite colors. Then I also picked up, uh, this would be for my daughter-in-law, a word search. I liked that one and just a little pocket size. I thought that was great. They had some Bible ones and I was hoping to find them, but I didn't. But I thought this said 127 puzzles and I thought these were great. She's ready to go in less than a month to have that baby. So I thought, you know, one night she just might need something to keep her mind off of other things while she's maybe going through labor and just bring something in her bag for the hospital. Then I picked these up as well for her. She likes arts and crafts like me. I might go back and actually get myself a set of these. Uh, brush markers, brush tip, great for hand lettering or calligraphy. And you get three in a pack. So this is the two sets that they had and the colors that they had. And they've got a nice felt tip. I actually might go back. These, these are intriguing me for that price. I think these will be good for junk journaling and also in my planner for decorating. I also picked this up for her since she is a crafter. Alphabet and number stamps, and they're minis. They have both caps and lowercase. $1.25, if you have a clear block, and I know she does, you can use those. Some of the treats that I picked up were, um, my youngest son loves that style. And my older son loves this style. He likes the peppermints. And I needed to get a couple of more candies, but the Dollar Tree I went to was completely wiped out of, you know, the box like M&Ms and uh, all those types of things completely. I mean, there wasn't a candy left. Even the bags of candy were minimal. So I do need to get one or two more gift bags. So I figured I'll go back. And then I picked this up to put in my uh, two older kids' stockings. And then this is from my husband and my oldest son. They both enjoy that. They like the, the beef sticks. Um, what are some other things that I got? Let's see, for my daughter-in-law, I picked up, I've seen these with the, you've got the hanger, but it's got the handle. You see that okay there, the handle's right here. And I think that's kind of nice to hold and be able to do that. So I picked up, um, the pink one for her and then I picked up the blue one for my son her husband so obviously they can tell which one's which and then I picked this up for my daughter-in-law as well a eye mask and it's a beaded one and you can stick that I think this is just for the freezer yes reduces puffiness so I thought that might be nice for her and then I also picked up some girly kind of cleaning wipes for her face. Smooth and lift collagen cleansing cloths. So they didn't have a whole lot of choice. I was looking for the ones that remove makeup, but I couldn't find those. Then for some of the boys in the family, I picked up um, men's face and body wipes. And they didn't have a whole lot of choice in this either, but that's okay. So I got one for each of the guys. And then for my husband, I picked up automated uh, or automated automotive protective uh, wipes, lemon scent, and it's like for the dash and stuff like that. So I got that one for him. And then for my son, I got disinfectant wipes. I was going to get him the same one, but he actually has a side business of car detailing. So he's probably got all the fancy, you know, proper ones. But I thought disinfectant wipes with the baby coming, that might be good for him. And what else did I get? <coughs> then for my son, he just moved into a um, new home. And they just relocated for his new job. 
So this was, I just thought, it, it was funny. We helped them move the other day and everybody's saying, you got a hammer? You got a screwdriver? Now I know he has a set of tools, but you know, when you're moving, you can't find it. I thought this was perfect for the kitchen drawer. It's a regular screwdriver and a Phillips head and a small, small tape measure. So I thought, you know, the junk drawer in the kitchen or in that hutch or something, when you don't want to have to store the big one, this is just a handy little one to have. For my husband, I picked up a magnetic pickup tool. And I don't think he has one of these, but I know how many times the nails are on the floor and or something and you're trying to pick them up. So got that for his tool chest. For my husband also, I picked up Muscle Ease. I love this. Have you used their essential oils? They have one that's lavender. I don't like lavender. Nothing wrong with it. I just don't like lavender. But this is Muscle Ease and I've used this. I carry this with me and they also have a peppermint one and it's infused with oil. Um, so it's a great roll on. And when I get a headache, I can rub the peppermint across the top. Just sometimes you get a small ache or pain somewhere. My husband has major back issues from all his seizures and his falls and other issues. So I thought that's great for him to carry in his backpack. And then two other things, I got my youngest son, Relax Refreshing Mint Eucalyptus Body Wash and Foaming Wash. So he's into all the, my husband calls them the smellies for the guys, you know, all the aftershaves and all that stuff. And this actually has a beautiful fragrance, really, really nice. Like I would use this. So I picked that up for him. And then our youngest son, you've met Gavin, I'm sure along the way on videos, looks a little different than us and di different texture hair. He is adopted. That'll give you a hint. So I picked this up for him and it is a hair styling sponge and uh, great for men and women. And I know they can do things and make their hair look really cool. So thought that would be a great alternative for him if he ever wants to style and change up his hair a little bit. So now I need to sit down and sort these and kind of count out that, you know, not one person got three things and somebody else got nine things and all that separated out. I do have to go back for a few things on candy, but I just wanted to show you, you know, you don't have to do this is, you know, even at five to seven dollars per person that can add up. But even just doing something like maybe these and this is a great gift as well as a stocking stuffer. If you're just looking to go inexpensive and practical, something like that, something like this, you know, even this with this, pair those up. So wanted to give you a few ideas on just some great stocking stuffers that you can still get either the same or similar at your Dollar Tree. And I hope you enjoyed that. If you have a favorite stocking stuffer that you like to fill your stockings with each year, I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment below and I'll catch you all on the next video. But wait, there's more. I forgot. I wanted to share. I got a couple of cards in the mail. This one came without a return address and they did not sign the card. So if this card here is from you, if you could either email me or leave it in the comments below, um, what a beautiful sentiment. I'm not going to read it. It was very personal. But if that card looks familiar to you, can you let me then know that you sent this card? Because I would like to, yeah, it's just signed with a heart. And I would like to return a card to you. And then Karen from Michigan sent me, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? That's a beautiful card. Beautiful. And thank you, Karen. Lynn and family, have a wonderful holiday season. I love your channel, and I am so glad YouTube recommended it to me. Thank you, Karen. Thank you so much. You will be getting a card from me shortly. i just finishing up those cards, and I'll be popping those in the mail either tomorrow or the next day, and you should get those before Christmas Eve. And then this one is from Mary. Mary, I don't know if you watch my hope for today or my at home with Lynn Wilson. But either way, Mary, thank you for your beautiful card. So I'll be sending you a card. And this is a local viewer. And she put a beautiful, beautiful sentiment in her card. Mary, I just wanted to thank you so much for your card. I do believe I have a couple other cards. And I understand a package came today. So I need to check that out, go pick that up and see what's in that package. 
Um, actually, I think I got two packages today in the mail from some viewers. So you'll be seeing that on one of the up and coming videos. All right, that's it. Gotta go. Catch you all on the next video.